But in the meantime, we want to focus on the new phase and stage of advertising. Airbnb, Heineken, Pinterest, GE, Ikea, just a few of the companies using Percolate to streamline their marketing processes. Co-founders Noah Breyer, James Gross with me now. So glad to see you guys. Thanks for coming in. So the new face and stage of advertising, what do your clients want most from you, Noah? Well, really what our clients are using us for are orchestrating their global marketing, really kind of figuring out how do we make sure that we can make this work across the globe. We're working with some of the biggest brands in the world, some of the biggest marketers in the world. How do we make sure that in every market the advertising looks the same, feels the same, is governed in a similar way? We can actually kind of make it work across television and radio and print and social, Facebook, Twitter. Um, brands are producing ever more messages across ever more channels. And so James, I know this business is rocking. Everybody I talk to says Percolate is doing it. If you take a taxi, you guys have your nice orange, you know, taxi banner and a very noticeable. But even for people who know advertising, it's actually kind of hard to understand exactly how you do the magic that you do. I feel like we should be queuing songs. In layman's terms, how do you explain it? Sure. Uh, what we like to say is we're trying to build the system of record for marketing. So the best analogy would be for what Salesforce has done for sales, what SAP and Oracle did for operations and finance, we're trying to do for the entire marketing process, right? So much of marketing operations and the ability for the CMO to understand everything from planning to production and publishing has been, is very analog. It's not done in a way where they have tremendous oversight like Salesforce gives you for a sales organization. Because just to, to kind of interrupt there, I mean, the CMO is judged, right? The chief marketing officer is judged on, like if I'm that person, my boss is gonna say like, what did you do to grow our brand and prove it? So you're basically giving every CMO the tools to do it. The dashboard, yeah, exactly. And giving data and knowing who to target and how and on what kind of platform. Yeah, and allowing them to manage the entire process, right? So managing from planning and strategy through the production, through the development, through the distribution, through the analysis, so giving them a full closed loop. All right, so what's the difference, James, between working with GE and then working with Blue Bottle Coffee? Sure, I, I think we love them both, right? We want to work with the, the largest companies in the world and the fastest growing companies in the world, and that's a perfect example. GE, a company that's over 100 years old, uh, has a wonderful brand, a wonderful tradition, operates in literally hundreds of markets around the world, help, helping them with all of that orchestration, help, helping them become the modern day brand that they want to be. For Blue Bottle, it's taking a systems approach from day one, not mired in the traditional way that they went to, that most brands went to markets with hundreds of agencies, uh, being able to use technology and software to scale their operations from the very beginning. So Noah, as far as where you see opportunity, we talk a lot about the business of media. I heard you say your tools are very important to any company that has a social social strategy. So is social and digital taking over from more traditional forms or does a company basically want to be represented across all kinds traditional and newer forms of media? I think most of the companies we work with we see them want to be uh, represented across all kinds of media and really you know the goal if you're a marketer you're trying to build your brand it's it's to reach people and you want to reach people where they are and so whether that's on television or that's on Facebook you're getting to the right people at the right time so at what point James do we get really creeped out like for example somehow you know I just bought a new car you know it's a Ford so I'm sitting watching my favorite TV show a Ford commercial pops up and I get something in my personal Twitter stream that's about Ford I think that's that's here I think a lot of that technology and the, the plumbing for that technology is absolutely here. I think the biggest challenge for the marketer oftentimes though is not how to reach the person that they already reached. It's how do you convert that next customer and how do you build that amazing brand that everyone wants to be around. Before I let you go, I know you had a big fundraise recently. What are you doing with the money? We're uh, continuing to hire. We have 215 people. We're opening a big office in San Francisco, building out our second product office there. Started the year at five, we'll be 50 there by the end of the year. We're open in London, Austin, so continuing to go around the world. All right, that's why you have to be doing extra good work for Blue Bottle, obviously. Great to see you both. Thank, Thank you for, for coming in. Thank Noah Breyer, James Gross, joining me there from Percolate. We have a very quick break. To